Hello, everyone. Dennis Weaver bringing you the District 6 AAA preview for week number six of the Tennessee high school football season. White County will enjoy a bye week this week, leaving two big district games tonight. In Crossville, Cookville will take on the Cumberland County Jets in a battle of teams without a district loss. Cookville's own David Flatt of WHUB previews the Cavaliers. It was another heart-stopping game in Lebanon last Friday. Special teams and trick plays were the difference in the battle as the Cavaliers faked a field goal, which led to their winning touchdown, and the Blue Devils missed two extra point attempts to give Cookville the two-point margin, making the final score 24-22. For the third week in a row, the Cavaliers are on the road tonight, traveling to Crossville. The Jets have one win, but it is a district win. And if the Cavaliers win tonight, they can have no less than a tie for first place in the district. Even though they are nursing some minor injuries, you can expect everyone to be going at full steam. Of course, Cumberland County is looking to add to their district record also and claim a shot at finishing with the district title. All the ingredients are there for a great game, so the fans should get their money's worth tonight. From Cookville reporting for WHUB News Talk 1400, I'm David Flatt. The Jets of Cumberland County can be heard on 102.5 Wow Country who bring us Steve Randall with this game story. It's back to district play for the Cumberland County High School Jets as they host the Cavaliers of Cookville. Last week, the Jets dropped to 1-5 on the season, falling at York Institute 25-21. CCHS led 21-6 early in the second half, held a 21-12 lead at the beginning of the fourth quarter, but the Dragons scored two unanswered touchdowns in the final frame, the last coming with just 41 seconds to play as Cumberland County, for the second straight week, was on the losing end of a game decided in the final seconds. Three of the Jets' last four losses have been games decided by a total of 12 points. The Jets are 1-0 in district play with a win over Warren County. The Cavs are 2-0. Cookville has won 12 straight over Cumberland County in this series, including a 37-22 victory last season. The Jets' last win against the Cavs came in 1998. I'm Steve Rundle, 102.5 Wow Country Sports. Coffee County will play host to Warren County in Manchester. Pioneers coverage is found on Sports Radio 1230 WAKI in McMinnville. And the man with a scoop on the Pioneers football is Jay Walker who previews the game for us. The Warren County Pioneers overcame a 19 to nothing halftime deficit to take a two-point lead over Warren County last week, but turnovers allowed the Raiders to come back for a 31 to 27 win, causing the Pioneers to drop to 0 and 6 on the year. But hopefully, the Pioneers' resilience last week will give them some confidence tonight as they go to Manchester to face Coffee County. The Pioneers have been notorious for slow starts this season. They know they need to get off to a much better start against the Red Raiders. Although the Raiders struggled last week, the Pioneers know it's a battle anytime these neighboring rivals get together. It should be a good one tonight as both teams look to turn things around. It's Warren County and Coffee County at Manchester tonight at 7. With Sports Radio 1230 WAKI, I'm Shay Walker. Lucky Nod is the voice of the Red Raiders, and he files this report from Thunder Radio in Manchester. District 6 AAA football is at Cardin Gerald Field in Manchester as the Coffee County Red Raiders play host to the Warren County Pioneers. Both teams have struggled offensively this season, Coffee County with one win, but it was a key win in the district standings over White County. Warren County, averaging just over eight points per ball game, has yet to win a ball game. Coffee County's just averaging 12 points per ball game. It's going to be a struggle offensively, or you never know. Both offenses could break out. It's District 6 AAA action, Warren County at Coffee County. I'm Lucky Knight for Friday Night Thunder, reporting from WMSR Radio in Manchester. That does it for the District 6 Roundup. Folks, get social by following Friday Night Thunder on Facebook and Twitter. Just search for Friday Night Thunder. I'm Dennis Weaver reporting for Friday Night Thunder.